Hey guys, Kate Kennedy here with another layout using the November hip kits. Now I've already received my December kit, but I just wanted to keep working with this November one because it was so much fun and I'm in the holiday mood. So um, I'm going to start off with some watercolor paper and some distress inks and I'm using festive berries and worn lipstick, I think, and then evergreen bow maybe. Um, I decided that normally when I make cards I'll tape down my watercolor cardstock and it keeps it from wrinkling so or buckling warping whatever term you want to use so I've decided to tape down my cardstock also I've done this before or my watercolor paper and I'm just using some painters tape like the kind that you use to paint your house and this craft mat which is awesome it's from Ken Oliver and it is it's called the best ever craft mat and it is the best ever craft mat you can it's not um it's not, you can't cut on it, but you can heat it, emboss, you can, you know, do all kinds of things, and you can, like, fold it up, and it's really cool. Anyhow, so I'm just doing the packaging technique that y'all have seen a billion times, and I've cut down a piece of my Tim Holtz craft mat to do that with, and that's what that little, like, tan color thing is, and I'm just putting the um, Distress ink directly onto the craft mat and then spritzing it with water. This is how I always do it and I kind of wanted to create um, quadrants of colors here and that's what I've done and then I also sprinkled some um, Heidi Swap color shine on it and then let it dry and when I removed that tape there was a little border which I really liked so I'm taking these little Maggie Holmes stickers they're so cute and this was kind of the inspiration for the layout is I wanted to create my own like background paper or like specialty paper with these little dots so I'm just scattering them in the top left and bottom right hand corners of the layout and the photo I have is of our golden retriever Ellie and she's just longingly staring out the window and I thought it kind of looked like maybe she was waiting for Santa to come or something well that's the spin I'm gonna put on the the layout but it just looks like she's waiting for something and with it being the holidays maybe she's waiting for Santa so I'm going to take this really pretty pink paper that Kim Watson designed for the hip kit. It's an exclusive. Some of these papers are exclusive to the hip kit this month and I'm going to just mount my photo. I'm not going to do a whole lot of embellishing to this layout because I think that the background is the main focus and I really love creating backgrounds like this and I just I, I love the way that it turned out and those little dots you get so many of them in the pack I think that this is a great way to use them there's also hearts and stars too that you could do the same thing with you could create several layouts with just that pack of stickers so the bottom paper is from basic gray and it's really cute it has these um, little graphic kind of trees on on it and I'm just using my ruler here to cut to cut down those papers so they have a little bit of an edge to them. But I really like that um, that tree paper. It's super cute. Just putting my layers together here, and then of course I'm going to put my photo up on some foam. I think I think I'm going to use some. Yeah, this is just some fun foam from like the kids section of the craft store. And it's really good for mounting your photographs on because it's solid and it's very inexpensive. So you don't have to use your entire roll of, um, of foam adhesive. And then I just put some score tape on the back because I wasn't sure if that liquid adhesive was going to stick. So anyhow, now that I have that together, I'm going to put some more score tape on the back because I find that with watercolor paper, um, you need kind of a stronger adhesive than maybe just your regular tape runner. So I would recommend using like the Tombow Extreme or score tape or something like that because it just really um, makes everything stick nicely. So now moving on to embellishing and I'm just in love with this alpha. I will use it time and time again. Um, I had to break out one from my stash to get, I think it was an S that I was out of or something like that. but. Anyways, that's what I'm going to use for the title. But first, I'm going to sprinkle some of these enamel dots in with all the other dots because why not? They're fun. And I'm going to do like red and pink in the red area and then like blue and green sort of in the blue and green area. I can't remember what color I used to make that blue. I think it was the, 
just the evergreen bow, maybe. I'm not sure. I'm also going to use, I think, a couple of these puffy stickers from Pink Fresh Studio. I think I'm going to fuss around with embellishments a little bit here. I really love those labels. They're super cute. I'm just cutting one in half and putting half on the bottom, I think, of the layout. Or no, on the top. And then I'll save the other half for another project. There's one of those little tags from the Basic Gray set. And they, when I did the open box, I showed showed them and they come in silver. And I, I'm using gold on this layout. So I just um, used a gold paint pen and made it gold, which is really fun. Oh, I used this little squirrel. Isn't that cute? Just because it's, it's fun. And then I just put a little strip um, that says Merry and Bright over it. And then I added another little sentiment that says, Tis the season to be jolly. I really love that the, the Ephemera pack came with those little um, like typewriter strips. I think that they're fun. And then I have that naughty and nice up there, but I don't think I leave it there. It, it didn't, it kind of looks a little bit floaty. I'm going to add this little um, wood grain Christmas tree to, with some foam adhesive. And then I think I'm going to add my title and that pretty much is going to finish up the layout. I think I had to move some of the um, enamel dots out of the way to put the title down because I probably should have put the title on before embellishing, but you know, I got a little excited. So if you haven't checked out the hip kit, you really should. I highly recommend it. And if you um, plan on subscribing, I'm going to have a graphic at the end here with a coupon code that if you subscribe, you can get a free pattern paper add on. And the code is Kate. And uh, make sure to check out our Facebook group and check out the free printables and cut files every month. They're awesome. And I thank you guys so much for watching and hope you're having a great holiday season. And I'll see you guys all real soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.